Back at Warrior Arena, Warriors enjoying a nice 122-44 victory. Big run of the game really came in that uh, right after half. 48-5 to run after it was 12-11 in favor of Pacific Union. And after that point, it was just nothing anybody could do in a Pacific Union uniform, mainly because the Warriors just couldn't miss tonight. Joining me, Ty Artist. Ty, you couldn't miss tonight. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's nice to come out here and play as a team and be able to put in a win like this. Well, let's talk about that trip up to the Pacific Northwest. Opened up with a nice win, a high-scoring game, and then fell back in a couple of tight ones to some teams that we'd never seen before. What, what was that experience like going up there? Um, it was pretty nice. Um, we got to go up there and, and enjoy some a different environment. Um, we had a great win the first game. Second game, we was able to put in a good fight, but we just wanted to be able to get back on the right track tonight. Yeah, definitely did that after going down to Merced. Uh, isn't that a fun drive? All the way down 99, you make a left in Merced, you drive out a bunch of miles, you make a right and you drive out a bunch of miles. Did you think you were ever going to see a school out there? I thought I would never see a school out there. <laughs> throughout that you kind of get lost out there sometimes. So looking at these numbers, and they were pretty spectacular tonight, you guys as a team just lit it up. Uh, I want to say 70%. Now, that was from the free throw line. My, my, my computer here sometimes gets wonky on me. Bam, split box. That's what I wanted. Okay, it's not going to work. Can't tell you what you guys did all together. But I know you shot ridiculous from three. I want to say 50%, 17 out of 34 from three tonight. Have you ever seen this team shoot that hot in a game? Um, I haven't seen it, but as we go in practice, I've seen the way that guys can shoot it and the way that we're able to be confident in each other even when shots aren't going in. So I just tell my teammates to just keep getting shots up, and we're going to keep believing that it's going to go in. Yeah, you, you missed a few games at the beginning of the year, but it doesn't seem like you've missed a beat. How have you managed to, A, stay in shape, and, B, stay in such good cohesion with your with your fellow players? Um, just taking it day by day. Um, of course, it was difficult not being out there with my teammates, but I just wanted to be able to – put ourselves in a good position not being not missing a beat as you were saying just making sure i was ready for when the time comes well you made sure tonight uh, in a big way as everybody on the team contributed even some of the bench guys and i know the guys that are the starters and the regulars they get pretty excited when the bench guys come in yes sir yeah you gotta love guys like uh oh who came in there skylar schmitty was in there tonight Caden but McDaniel. yeah Caden mcdaniel yeah came in as hot as everybody else yes, does sir. he do that in practice yes sir he's a he's a great guy um he's from washington as well um he's one of my my favorite people that I've been around, um, he's he's really good. Um, he's going to be a good player when whenever the time is, comes. Is he one of those guys in practice that you don't want to face? Yes, he is. He's a he's a big, stronger guard, um, and he's able to shoot that ball as well. So he's a great player. He's got some size on him, 6'4", 195, again, as you said, out of Tacoma. Uh, yeah, the starters played okay tonight. The, the, the subs played. There's really – I don't know what coach is going to pick on you guys about. Maybe the only thing is turnovers. Yes, sir. We we had a little bit more than we we wanted to, but it was it was a, we were able to pick up when the time was needed. Did you have a great Thanksgiving? Yes, sir. I did. I got to spend some time with some family. Right. And and what's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Doesn't have to be a Thanksgiving food. Um. I would say pizza, but Thanksgiving-wise, I like mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. All right. So pizza, what do you like? Pepperoni combination? Um, sausage. Sausage only? Just cheese and sausage? Yep, cheese and sausage. Or I'll just do cheese. I could split one with you. That'd you be could. no problem. What's your favorite dessert? Favorite dessert? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Any particular kind? Does it have to have anything on top or just a plain old piece of cheesecake? Um, Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. For sure. Yeah, back in the day, this company named Sara Lee used to make the little round ones in a tin with Cherry's Jubilee on the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, there was many a date night that I'd go and I'd go grab that at the store and bring two spoons. Yeah, that was all a good. Great time. Huh? So you got to spend some time with family then over yes, the sir. break. Now you, you guys won't be back in this gym for a little minute. Yeah, um, I'm week, looking at that. It's like, come on now. We need, we need to you know we need to get some more home games. Although playing ten games in the month of November was that a little bit of stress on this team? Um, it was it was pretty. That's a lot of games in a month. Yeah, it was a lot that we had to be prepared for. But I feel like we. We faced it head on, and we were able to face adversity. Yeah, came out 6-4 and four at the Academy of Art at Southern Oregon and then back home against Lincoln of Oakland. Looking forward to that game. You know why I am? Why? Who's the head coach of Lincoln of Oakland? Gary Payton. You got that right. We get to see the glove <laughs> yes, on sir. Warrior Court. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm hoping you guys put the clamps on them like you did to Pacific Union tonight. Yes, sir. All right, so we got pizza. We got cheesecake. We got Ty Artis. <laughs> 20 point job tonight. Drops yes, a 20 sir. piece on him. We just discussed earlier. We take the 20 points and a 20 piece 
Final score again, 122-44, Warriors in the win column for the sixth time in ten games, taking a little bit of time off at the Academy of Arts on the 1st of December at Southern Oregon on the 9th and back home for the Glove and Lincoln of Oakland, 6 o'clock start on December 15th, and that'll do it from Warrior Arena. Dave Rosenthal for the gang. Hope you all have a great rest of the Thanksgiving weekend, and we'll see you back here uh, around the 1st of the month. Good night and God bless from Warrior Arena.